Recently, there's some nuns in San Diego who had previously given up their car and sold their car in order to give the money to the poor. And a local businessman heard of this and was so impressed with their devotion to the poor that he donated to them a new one. So Mother Superior and her fellow nuns got in their new car and they were driving up here to see Mount Helix that they had heard so much about. It didn't take them long before they got pulled over by a policeman. The policeman knocked on the door, Mother Superior unrolled the door, and he said, Ladies, do you know why I pulled you over? Mother Superior said, Well, I can't imagine, officer. I don't know why you pulled us over. The officer said, Everyone else on this freeway is going 65 miles per hour. You are going significantly less. And Mother Superior said, well, officer, I can't believe that that's the case because we always follow the rules. And there's no way that we would go over or under the speed limit that's posted right there on that sign. Eight. Well, the policeman had a nice laugh. And then he noticed that there were some nuns in the back of the car who were absolutely petrified. So he said, ladies, what's the matter with you guys? What's up? And then one of the nuns said, Oh, officer, we are so thankful. We're so thankful that you stopped us. The police officer said, Why? And they said, We just got off of 163. Mark Raftery asked me the other day, at Toastmaster session, for me to come up with a modern-day hero. Well, I read about a modern-day hero. I read about one on Sunday. His name is Lord George Wiedenfeld. And George Wiedenfeld was born in Austria. And when the Nazis annexed Austria in 1938, he was lucky to get out. The Plymouth Brotherton is an organization in London that sponsored him to move to London. And it's a good thing he did because all of his friends and neighbors who were also Jewish ended up at Auschwitz. Well, George was very thankful for what had been done and he decided to pay it forward. So he became very successful as a publisher. He owns his own publishing company. And he has taken his money and gone and looked for some way that he can make a difference. He didn't have to look too far. In Syria right now, there's a war going on. 22 million people have lost their homes. They're living in famine, poverty, death, disease. They're being murdered. And the Catholics are being persecuted. As you're aware, if you've looked in the news, 37 of them were recently beheaded. So Lord Wiedenfeld decided he was going to make a difference. He was going to sponsor 150 of these Syrians and bring them to London, train them how to get jobs, teach them the English language, allow them to have a better future. I was sitting in church and I was contemplating what he had done, and I thought to myself, I really admire that guy. He saved the lives of 150 people. How many have I saved today? And then to my dismay, breaking through the long-winded homily that the priest was giving, he announced, San Diego Blood Bank is going to be next door today. And if you'd like to save a life, you should go next door and donate blood. I assure you, you probably won't miss the blood, but somebody else could be alive with it. Well, this filled me with utter dismay. I was petrified. The last thing in the world I want to do is give blood. I would rather go bungee jumping. I would rather tie big rubber bands around my feet and jump off a 200-foot ledge or a 200-foot crane and go plummeting towards my death than go give blood. I fear giving blood more than anything, anything, except homosexuals. You guys know that about me. On that note, not all blood is created equal. If you are a man and have ever slept with another man, they do not want your blood. When you go to write down on the questionnaire before you give blood, if you're an intravenous drug user, they don't want your blood. If you've had sex with a prostitute any time in the last six months, they don't want your blood. Looking around at this audience, I would guesstimate about half of you would be disqualified. So when I told my wife that I was going to go next door and give blood, she laughed and said, yeah, sure you are. I said, no, really, I prayed on that. I'm going to go give blood. And she said, 
Eric, do I need to remind you, the last three times you've given blood, you've ended up flat on the floor, on your back, staring up to the ceiling, with your legs up on a chair, and lots of little nurses running around saying, Oh, are you okay? Oh, can I help you? <laughs> but she didn't convince me not to go. I said, I'm going to give blood anyways. And she said, well, I sure hope that they have smelling salts. You know, a funny thing happened, not three hours after I gave blood, a broker called me up. He wanted to go give a close to full price offer on one of my properties. And with just a small amount of negotiation, he agreed to have me represent him. This was like a $15,000 gift from God. This never happens in my business. Oh, hold on, gift from God. Could it be? Could the reward have been that quick and that generous? Is my priest that tight with the Almighty? Well, I don't know for sure, guys, but I will tell you this. Every week that that priest is up there, every week, as he's droning through his homily, and I'm wishing he shows up at Toastmasters and gets some further instruction, every week I'll be sitting in one of those pews, doing my absolute best not to fall asleep. Because whether it's wealth or wisdom, that priest is making me rich. So what is a hero? Does a hero have to be perfect to be worthy of our admiration? I don't think so. I think a hero has to be someone who inspires us. Inspires us to go out and make a difference. A hero has to motivate us to maybe change the world. To make us better men. Lord Wiedenfeld was saved by the Plymouth Brotherton. He was saved and inspired to go save the lives of 175 Catholics in Syria. And the message of my priest and the actions of Lord Wiedenfeld inspired me to go give blood and maybe save a life. Let us go forward together, gentlemen. Let us go forward to save the world. Let us go forward to make a difference. Let us go forward to be better men, better men. And yes, yes, San Diego Blood Bank does have smelling salts. <laughs>